Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbent and yellow and porous is he? SpongeBob SquarePants! If not a nonsense, be something you wish! Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But, Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. No. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help... Um, how do I read the sign? No. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. No. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Oh. 
too pretty. Can't take it! This is where I keep all my old comic books. I love opening presents. where I keep all my old comic books. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Another find for Patrick! I'd make myself a snack, but there's no time! Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! 
Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Hey, Bowie! Youch! Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Hey, Patrick! Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Opening presents. is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Thank <laughs> you. 
worst. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. <laughs> I crack me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. It shines. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j jellyfish Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Opening presents. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. I feel like a new sponge. Take that! 
shines. Fresh like a spring breeze. to do laundry. Feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Meow, meow. Wow, a bungee jump. For a golden
Cha-ching! Boing! Love opening presents. Feel like a new sponge. Just met the Sponginator.
all your comics and toys and mail? Eh, huh? W what Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! That was a ton of fun! I should do it again sometime! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! So bright. So shiny. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Ooh, a present in every one!
This one goes boom! Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you! That's much better. Here's a whistle. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. <laughs> 